So someone asked me a while back, how do we use do re mi like the ame sound in Yoruba? So I'm going to explain as much as I can because I've been postponing this and I really don't want to postpone it anymore. So I'm going to explain in ways possible and I hope you understand. To start, we have three sounds in Yoruba. That is do re mi and do and mi have a symbol. Re also have a symbol, but in most Yoruba words or most Yoruba letters, Re wouldn't be written in the symbol. I'll show you this as I continue. As the, I'll show you this as I continue to explain. So this is the Do sound. But mind you, I mean, mind you that this Do sound, like the, the symbol, will be the other way on your side. Because you get it? You get it? Because of the way of viewing the camera, and I flip this around, the do the symbol will now be on the like how I am holding my pen. So literally, the do it's written like this in paper, but it will be like this, like how I'm holding my pen. In that's the symbol. That's for do. Yeah, you know when you're dealing with symbols and camera, like if you draw it this way, it's flipped around when you flipped it see this is the me symbol and me me just go like mm. do goes like mm. me goes like mm. you see like if, if you're familiar with some um, piano chords and then like do really it's not the same sense but kind of like it if you get what I, if you get what i mean so me sounds go like mm. and do goes like mm. do is more deep and me is more pitch, like high pitch to me, mm, do, mm. So me will be like this in the symbol. Like when you're writing your words, it will be like this. Mm, mm, me. And so the last um, sound, which is re, is represented by this. So you won't get confused with the symbol. It's just, it's just dash. Dash. But in most Yoruba words, you wouldn't see the symbol written. You will see mo, uh, me and do written on top of the letters, but you won't you won't see the me written on top of the letters. I mean, sometimes they would, um, but most of the time, no. And uh, so Ray goes like, mm, mm. that's Ray, Ray, mm, Ray. So do do do, mm, mm, mm. me, 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 me. Mm -mm -mm. Re, 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 re. Mm -mm -mm. Like re, re, re will be like ari wo. Mm -mm -mm. Re, re, re. You can even hear the sound. So even though I'm not in Europe, uh, sorry, even though I'm not in Nigeria anymore, it's so hard to kind of be fluent in the Yoruba, even when you're speaking it or even when you're reading. So, like for me, the way that I get in the group of reading. Yoruba again, like actually reading like Yoruba literature, you actually reading Yoruba literatures is by the sounds. Like if you get the basic of the sounds, the letters and uh, saying the words will come so easily. So say, so if you can understand the sounds, the learn the words and saying the words and distinguishing between words will come easily. I think and I believe that I heard, um, sorry, I think and I believe that I heard somewhere that um, Arabic is also a tonal language and some of um, Chinese language are also tonal language. So and so is Yoruba. Yoruba is also a tonal language as we've just explored. So it is a tonal language like that. You, in Arabic, um, in Arabic language, they also have like, you know, Fatiha, Kestrel, Duma, Sada. Fatiatin, Kesotin, Dumotin, and all those, and all those be symbols to signify or to um to signify or to identify words. This is exactly the same as in Yoruba. I'm not so familiar with Chinese um language, and I'm not so familiar with um. And you know, I sometimes when I see um how French is written, there's sometimes some things on top of the letters so i don't know i don't know if french is also tonal or if some variations like that 
I'm not so sure. But but yeah, depending on the depending on the sound and depending on the symbols, it can change the meaning of the word. Like say Odu. Odu is mm mm redu. That is Odu. If you say Odo, mm mm remi, that is Odo. Odo is a well, like a water well. Odo is a mortal, a mortal like the one that you use to pound yam. The mortal would do some thing green. So that is see how it's the same letters, but depending on the intonations or the symbols, it changes it changes the meaning of the word. Now I'll show you some examples. The first example that I'm going to share is actually quite simple. We all love it. So it should be it's quite easy to grasp. Dodo. Dodo is plantain in, in Yoruba. It's a, Dodo is plantain in Yoruba, fried plantain. So exactly how the word is said and exactly with the symbol Dodo. Mm -mm, Dodo. It's see, quite easy. That one is quite easy. So the second example that I want to share is me. So I have the example Dindi. Dindin is something to be fried in Yoruba. Din is fried. Dindin is something to be fried. So dindin, mm -mm, mimi. So I was one thing. One thing that I didn't add before was that in Yoruba sounds, um, the symbols they're always always going to be on the vowels, except sometimes when they are on some consonants and only one consonant really, like ni. Ni sometimes give a vowel sound. So in in some words, you will see the symbol on ni sound too. But it's very, like in small words, like say something like bang, bang, something, or some words like bang. I don't even want to say bang, bang because I don't, I'm not sure. I have to like think about it to see if the ni sound in bang, bang would have a symbol. But yeah, that's for the me sound. Me. Ding ding me me. Just remember this uh, the some symbols they will always be on vowels and vowels in Yoruba are only seven. So whatever symbols that you have, don't don't ignore the consonant sound. The it's only the vowel sounds that will have the symbols, not the subconsonants. And also the knee sound that I'm talking about, you know, sometimes H, if you're writing on Microsoft. If you say a handsome man, Google will say and will sometimes want to correct you and say an handsome. That's the because like sometimes that sound, especially if the the H sound in handsome is very silent, that it the A actually sound more than the H sound. I think that's what happened in Yoruba too with the knee when like the knee sound the when like the the vowel with the knee sound, it brings out the vowel in the knee. Do you get it? I hope you get it. <laughs> and then the last one that I want to share is re. So I have here earring. Earring is metal in English. So if you see the first earring that I wrote, it has none of the um, dash sound on the I vowel sound. But the second one, if you want to be technical, you can put this dash sound to signify that the re re there. And that is for um, re sound. Earring, re re, mm mm. Earring, re re, mm mm. And yeah, so that's how you use Yoruba vowels in Yoruba word sentences. Another re sound is aso. Aso is clothed in English, as you know. But aso will be like this. Aso, re, re, mm-mm. Aso, re, re, mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, re, re. That is for aso. That is for re sound. Combining the symbols, like if we have aja. Aja is a dog in Yoruba. So, I'm oh, sorry. Aja is a dog in English. Aja means dog in English. So, aja will be re, re me. Mm -mm. That's combining the sounds here. Yeah. Remy, Aja, mm -mm. Aja, Remy, and that's how you write it. Aja. Or you might, the R, the first R is Re, 
which is the dash. And you might not even write the dash if you want. But the, the other sound, the other A, will have the Mi sound, which is Aja, Re, Mi. And the third example that I have for you is Tabili. Tabili. Mi, Mi, Do, Do. Mm, mm, mm. Tabili. Mm, mm, mm. So this is Tabili. Tabili is t means table in English. So Tabili. Mi do do, and this is how you write it. So the first, the first vowel will have the mi, which is a. Mi ta bi do li do. So the two last um, vowel sounds will have the do do sound. Ta bi li mi do do. Mm -mm -mm. I hope that I have explained how to use Yoruba sounds in Yoruba. And I hope that it helps. If you are still confused or you like me to give more examples, please let me know. And I'll try as much as possible and do it. But I hope that this is informative enough. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. I know I didn't make an introduction. It's me, Aisha. Salamu alaikum. And it's Juma today. So Juma Mubarak to all of you out there. Oh, <laughs>